this may be ambitious, this may be uh, big, uh, but I'd say uh, that's what makes it worth doing. I got a call from President J.B. Milliken, and so I remember walking across the street to Werner Hall and sitting down in a, in a meeting with uh, J.B. and laying on the table for me a old report about Yathik that was an external review that had been done uh, a couple of years earlier of the University of Nebraska Rural Initiative, as it was known at the time. So he said, take this away, uh, study it, learn the background, and, uh, and give us a recommendation for what you think we should do to move forward. And at the end of that fall, I went back to JB and said, you know, I think what we need to do is take this report seriously and agree with their consensus that if we're serious about this, that we actually need to elevate this in stature and, and raise it to the level of a truly serious priority. And what we came up with was the concept of the rural, what is now the Rural Futures Institute. We were uh, successful in convincing the Board of Regents and the university community broadly and the leadership of the campuses that that should be a priority where we transdisciplinarily across the campuses, across various fields and areas of study, engage the university in thinking about sustainability and long-term success for rural communities and environments. In our community forums, we heard that um, people were very interested, they were curious, uh, they wanted to know uh, primarily how we were going to involve our young people, our students, uh, because they, were, they realized the value and the importance of research and what our faculty were doing but what they really wanted to see were our students on the ground in their communities putting that research to use. This idea has uh, tremendous resonance and I know that's why uh, all of you are here from uh, across Nebraska but also across the country and from, from around the world. The goal of the conference was to bring together the best minds from Nebraska, the Great Plains and beyond and have them join together and connect ideas and to spur innovation. Somewhere Thomas Jefferson smiling because this is exactly what he hoped would happen is that on a continual basis we'd reimagine our democracy. And we'd reimagine what our landscapes and our communities and our life should be like. It's reaffirming to me a number of things that we know about what makes vital rural communities but we're also really challenging ourselves around innovation, creativity, doing things differently as well. Diversity drives innovation. Diversity. We have the best chance of developing groundbreaking ideas when we combine ideas from different industries or fields or cultures, when we step into the intersection of these different fields and cultures. My big dream for rural America is uh, that rural America will be just as connected, just as vibrant, just as exciting a place to live in as urban America. The outcome of this framework drafting session was to come up with a document that would inform the Board of Regents of what the Rural Futures Institute should look like. What they were going to do is kind of define uh, the mission, the vision, and some core values that should underline, uh, underlie the work. They also came up with some principles they felt were important in how the work was conducted, that being it should be transdisciplinary, meaning that most of the, the issues and the challenges and opportunities that rural communities face are complex and not easily addressed from just one point of view. Innovation and entrepreneurship are important because the world we live in is, is very, is constantly changing. We're in a global marketplace. And finally, deep collaboration is, is really important. We put a lot of thought into the RFI identity just because we wanted to make sure our brand made us look inspiring, futuristic, and bold. We ultimately decided on green and gold, and green was meant to convey life, growth, renewal, all of which are relevant to our mission. And then we also decided on gold, which although commonly associated with wealth, was more to inspire opportunity and optimism. 
The infinity sign is actually a lowercase r and f, and they intersect to create an open infinity sign. And the open infinity sign actually leaves people with a desire to connect the open section, which results in a feeling of direction and opportunity. One of the major uh, goals of the grants was to offer opportunities for faculty to do relevant research and teaching around areas that impacted uh, rural futures. In the first year, we gave three quarters of a million dollars in internal grants. We're calling this day today Rural Futures Institute Day. We are going to endeavor to be the preeminent spot in this country, and maybe in the world, in focusing a 21st century research university on a range of issues uh, in the rural economy and rural life.